You have clicked on this video for a very good reason. This is a message that you're going to want to hear. And I don't care how bad your past was, how, how bad you may think it is, how bad I think mine was, or any of this, but you need to have faith. You need to have faith in God. You need to have faith in your surroundings that things will get better because they do. I'm here to confirm that to you now. Things do get better. Um, God knows about everything that happened to you in your past. He sees everything. He is a witness. And you know yourself damn well what happened to you. And honestly, guys, just think about it now. Like, when I think back, it, it makes me laugh. Like, in my head right now, I'm laughing a little bit at my past because it's a bit of a joke. It honestly is. And I was just in situations where it's like, there's not much I could have done about certain things at the time. And that was where most of the frustration came from me. That's where my anger came because I felt like I was in positions in life whenever I was younger where it's like, I really have no power in life right now. I'm really nothing right now. I know I have a lot of power inside of me, but it's like, there's things I need right now to get out of these positions. Because I'm not rich. I wasn't born rich. I wasn't born with things where I can just do whatever I want whenever I want. We were all young before. We didn't have much. You know? And it left me very frustrated and like angry and held back. And God sees everything. I always knew I was going to get out of positions. I always knew life was going to get real good. And I knew it was going to take a while because I was behind in life and I knew it. And that's why I hustled so hard. That's why I came out of, you know, I wish I could have came out of the womb hustling. But my surroundings said otherwise. My surroundings tried to hold me back. There's so many things that came my way that tried to destroy me, to try to make me not fill out my purpose, my destiny, my mission, my calling. But I didn't let anything define me. I didn't let my past define me. I didn't let my circumstances in the past define me. Nothing. And I came through. And life is only getting better. And, you know, there's still some difficult stuff. But not nothing like that was in the past. I don't feel held back. I feel free. I feel good. And I like the difficulty of growing as a person. I like the pain of growth. But there's nothing worse than dealing with the pain of being held back, the pain of not being able to be yourself, the pain of not, you know, having any power and being just held back. There's nothing worse. It, it, you're going to be an angry person. You're, you're not going to be yourself. And I dealt with so much in the past, like I said, that just made me so mad. Because I knew the talent I had. I knew the smarts that I had. I knew the positions I was in. And I felt like greatness was inside of me since birth. But I just couldn't get anywhere. I couldn't do anything. I could. There was nowhere to go. Not, nothing to do. As far as putting myself further ahead in life to get away from certain situations. And it left me angry. And I know what that feels like. And you going through it now. God knows what you're going through. And he wants to bless you. So this is a message to continue to go. Continue to push forward. You may have to deal with some negative stuff right now. Deal with it the right way. Don't overreact too much where it's going to get you in trouble. Something I never did. Um, I overreacted a few times. But it's not something that got me in trouble. If you are pushed too hard, there's nothing you can do about it. You will overreact. Just don't get yourself in trouble is what I'm trying to say. And keep pushing it forward. Just know in your heart who you are. Know in your heart that things will get better because they will. If you want them to, they will. And if you also want to, you will make things worse. You have the choice. And, you know, I felt like I did a good job. A really good job at 
staying calm for the most part, even though I was upset a lot, I still stayed as calm as possible, collected as possible, and did as much as I could and did the right things with what I had with where I was. But things do get better if you just keep pushing it forward, if you just keep doing the right things, be disciplined. Let certain things that are holding you back motivate you to the point where you're exercising so so damn much that you're just, you know, that's what I did. I was like running away from all the things that was trying to hold me back. I was literally running the, the streets. I was running the roads in the middle of the night. I was hitting the gym every day. I was doing as much as I could with where I was. And I would come home at night. I would come home and I would watch information I would get alone and I would surround my mind with positive things with things that I felt like I was on its level I always felt I always felt rich in the mind and the soul and the heart I, I just I don't know what it is I just felt like there was nothing anybody else was that I was not and I felt worthy of everything that anybody in this world has I just felt worthy. I felt alive. I felt strong. I felt very powerful. I have a lot of wisdom. I'm, I got smarts. My IQ is very sharp and it's very high. There's nothing that tells me that I should settle for average, that I should settle for mediocre, that I should settle for positions where I'm going to be in, where people are negative and tearing me down. And I should just settle for this average job that I didn't even go to school for. Hell no. Hell no, I always knew as a chosen one that, that I had greatness inside of me and I didn't let anyone around me tell me otherwise. I did my thing, I did it the right way and I come out on top and I made a lot of people mad. I made a lot of people mad and I'm not involved with these people anymore. Um, they can all go suck a dick. I could care less what they do, they are dead to me. They are too negative for me to deal with. They, are, they have negative spirits. Everybody has the potential to be a better person, but I don't deal with anybody who has a negative spirit because my spirit is going to irritate them so damn much that it's not even funny. A lot of so-called people that like to go to church, I think they're these good people, but yet they're having these rages right before church or right after church. They're right negative and mean and all this other stuff. It's hilarious to me. And they go to church acting like such nice people. Pathetic. Pathetic. Controlling bossy people. So mad. You can stay mad. You little pesticides. You can stay mad. Because guess where I'm going? Away from you. And guess where I'm going? To the top. Where I belong. Where I deserve to be. Just like every other damn chosen one deserves to be at the top. Keep pushing. Keep going. Screw those people. Screw those negative Nancys. Screw those Karens. They can all go do whatever they got to do. They can tear down their own children. They can tear down whatever they want. But they ain't got nothing on you. They ain't got nothing on you. And even if you are forced to be surrounded by any of these types of people, it could be guy or girl, man or woman, whatever it is, you will eventually get out of those situations. You will raise gold and they will hate you. And that's how the story goes. You will get away and you will live a life you were supposed to live in and they're going to be so mad and so bitter because you're chosen and they know you're chosen. They hate it. They hate that they're not chosen. They hate that they were defeated because a lot of people in this world, believe it or not, they're defeated people. They're defeated. And you are never necessarily defeated unless you really give up. If you really give up and you know you're not doing nothing else. You just settle. You just, this is who I am. No, 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 no. Those people have that mindset. That's who they are. They're not going for anything else. Their mind's already made up. They, they, they say these things into existence. If you say something like that into existence, you're for sure done. You are for sure done. If you have an eagerness to you to do more, to do better, 
no matter what anybody else says, no matter what anyone thinks of you, you are chosen. You're chosen for something better than your current circumstances. And like I said, guys, God knows everything that you've been through. Life's not fair, and I don't think it was ever designed to be fair. There are starving kids in Africa every single day. There are people in the hospital and young kids dying of leukemia and cancer and all these other deadly things that are out there. Older people dying every day, people being shot every single day, animals being killed. Life is not perfect. It is far from perfect. It's ugly if you look at it with two clear eyes. But you can make it as pretty as you want to through hard work, through sacrifice, through the things you want for the time being that you were on this planet. It's up to you to make life great. It's up to you to make life greater. You know? And you can do it. You can do it. And there's always much worse. You have to remember that too. I never had that mindset of poor me. Poor me. I'm so unlucky. Look at all these people that were in rich families that are high level in sports now because they're rich families. I never had that poor me mindset. I looked at my life, my circumstances, with what I was given, brought up into, and all these things. And I faced my damn self because I knew I had greatness in me. It didn't matter what I was given or was not given. It didn't matter. Because I was going to come out on top and I always knew that. I knew I didn't need nothing too special to succeed. I knew I did not. I knew it. So, you guys, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. You can, you, you can break the rules. You can bend and manipulate and break the rules in your way. Just don't get in trouble. Don't do nothing that breaks the law, but you can bend and manipulate rules. And I'm not saying manipulate people, I'm just saying this system is designed for you to fail, for one. You can manipulate the system all you want. F the system. The system is trash. The system is garbage. Of course you can do that. But don't do things against the law that's going to get you in trouble, is all I'm saying. But it's up to you to make your life great again. And you can do it. And I'm here to tell you you can do it. And I'm here to tell you if you have that proper mindset, you are chosen. So go out in your shield. Do what you do. And screw all these people that are in your life that are trying to keep you from greatness. And they're going to be so bitter whenever you lived a much better existence than they did. And they're going to be so bitter that they couldn't drag you down because somebody and their life probably drug them down, or they're just complete morons. Either or, who knows? Some people are just not chosen, some people are just not cut out. But you are. And I want you to know that you are. I don't care who's watching this video, I want you to know that you are. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up don't give up on faith. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on anything that is good. Do not do that. Do not settle for less. Do not say, this is who I am and this is just how it is. Don't not have that mindset. You're better than that. You are much better than that. I'm out.